After many, many years of paddleboarding, I finally got a puncher. It's the first punch I've ever had. I'm gonna have a go at repairing it. It happened when I landed on the offshore island, scraped up on some oyster shells. So it's kind of sliced down the, the front underside of the board. I think it's gonna be tricky to repair. Gonna have a go. Uh, if it doesn't repair very well, I can send it off to one of the Goose Hill repair shops. So I'm gonna pump it up just to double confirm that that scratch is the right one and then have a crack at repairing it. That scratch there is a culprit. In a bit of an awkward place right up against this boundary. To repair your paddleboard, you're gonna need a few bits and pieces. You're gonna need a cloth, sandpaper, some white spirit to clean it, your puncher repair kit, some strong glue, a squeegee or something similar to get air bubbles out, and a pair of scissors to cut your patch. A bit of soapy water. Yeah, you can see that is exactly where all the bubbles are coming out. It's not pouring out, but it is a slow puncher that will go down over time when you're out and about. Not what you want when you're out at sea or anything like that. I was thinking to let the glue bond whilst it's flat and have something heavy on top of it, but it's so awkward right in that corner, I think it needs to be inflated for it to shape, if you see what I mean. I don't think that'll bond very well if it's flat. In the punch repair kit, you get a few things. You'll get this for the valve, and then a couple of PVC patches. Obviously gonna go for the white one to match the bottom. And you get one slightly rougher surface and one smoother surface. You stick the rough side down. So you obviously want a bit of space around the scratch, but it's kind of difficult because the scratch goes all the way to the boundary on this. So I'm just gonna have to do my best and roughly get it. I'm gonna go about there. I'm gonna go for that. Now obviously the aim is, is that to sit over the top of there and sit on that nicely, but I think I might have to nick this corner off here a bit and then I'm gonna round these corners off because rounded corners peel and catch a lot less easier than right angle or square corners. That actually fits pretty good. Pretty happy with that little patch. Gonna draw around the patch just so I don't go too nuts with the old sanding. I don't want to sand more than I need to. Give it a little sand so the glue's got something to hold on to. Then buff up the rough side of this. Time to clean. Always wear the correct safety gloves. These gloves are just see-through, so you can't see them. And just give this a quick clean as well. Oh crap. <laughs> just cleaned it and I'm dropping it on the floor somewhere like that let's do it and i'm just going to use a nozzle to spread it a bit right now I'll stick it on here as well wait approximately two minutes before joining surfaces right here it goes all or nothing come on oh my fingers are all gluey now oh, i've not got an eye enough either Oh, no, we're right. Squeezing out the top and the sides. Ah, oh, we come over the blue bit. Where's the scratch? Literally bang. Right there. Hold it one side. Scrape it all out. Oh. Ah, oh, bloody hell. It's all moved. Push that back down. Oh, this is going terrible. How's that look? <laughs> Pretty bad. What about the old rolling pin? Or is that just gonna... Oh, there we go. Oh. I don't really know, to be honest. I think I'm just gonna keep on playing with it until it probably falls off. Try and get a bit of this excess off before it dries. I think I'm gonna call it there. The more I play around with it, the more likely I'm going to disturb it from that spot and I think that's a reasonable spot to be honest. It's fairly good along that boundary. Right, I'm going to call it, I'm not going to play around with it too much more. He says, one last little rolling pin action with the old pencil. Oh yeah, that was needed. Yep, I can do that. A few different ways. 
think I might have gone for too much glue. I mean, I don't think that as a finished product is all too terrible. Positioning's on point. I just don't know if it's all been pushed down firm enough, but I can't really do much about it now because every time I try and do it, it keeps moving. I mean, if you've got a puncher in your paddleboard, good luck, first of all. It's a bit trickier than, uh, than I thought it was going to be after a bit of research online. But I guess we're not going to know if it's successful until we get it back in the water in the next couple of days or so. I'm going to leave it overnight with a bit of weight on it to try and secure the bonds. Uh, so hopefully it stays strong. Obviously, a bit of a DIY project. If it doesn't work and it's unsuccessful, I'll send it off to the professionals. They can fix it, but I'm glad I've given it a try. At least I know how to do it if I get one in the future. Uh, hopefully next time it's in a bit more of an easier place to repair. And yeah, if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to. And have fun. Stay young, baby. You!